Uh, today we'll be talking about the relationship between longitude and time uh, and we'll show how uh, time is calculated um, if longitude is given to us so when we mean when we say time we there are different types of time that is used for nautical calculations such as gmt which is greenwich mean time or lmt which is local mean time and through these examples i'll show you the relationship that exists between the longitude the local mean time lmt and the greenwich mean time which is gmt and we will also include the zone and the zone time uh, so before we start uh, i should probably show you what is the relationship between longitude and time conceptually all right so for nautical navigation what is it that we use so uh, what we have in uh, uh, for uh, for coastal navigation that we use or for for any type of maritime navigation uh, or timekeeping what we use is this concept here so we have uh, the longitude of uh, sorry my apologies here let's go down here and uh, what we have here is firstly the zero 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 degrees longitude right and this is called the prime meridian all right this is the reference point for all longitudes just like you have a reference point of the equator for all the latitudes you also need a reference longitude and uh, which is the zero 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 degrees longitude which is called the prime meridian now for timekeeping purposes on um, either sides of the zero 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 degrees uh, till seven and a half degrees east and west so seven and a half degrees uh, this is seven and a half degrees west and this is seven and a half degrees east uh, the time zone is uh, zero that means that uh, this here the time is the same as the gmt time or the green which mean time um, uh, so countries like uk and all they are maintaining a green which mean time which is uh, the gmt time and uh, uh, seven and a half degrees on either side of the prime meridian um, all the countries lying in this zone will maintain the same uh, greenwich mean time all right uh, going out from seven and a half degrees east and west every 15 degrees so for example if i add another 15 degrees to this uh, 15 degrees of longitude if i add uh, this becomes 22 and a half degrees right east and then if i add another 15 degrees and keep going like that 15 degrees of longitude you can see that this becomes 37 and a half degrees so uh, as we go east from the greenwich mean uh, greenwich meridian or the prime meridian we start adding one hour uh, to the greenwich mean time so all the countries lying in this zone between seven seven and a half degrees and 22.5 degrees uh, will have or maintain a time of uh, greenwich plus one hour uh, and uh, as i go further east i'll keep adding the hour to it uh, and uh, so this becomes uh, not one but rather plus two from greenwich so uh, all the countries lying between 22 and half degrees to 37 and half degrees east uh, will maintain a time of gmt uh, plus two hours so as you keep going east by 15 degrees all the way to 180 degrees this is what is happening so at any point of time the maximum time that you can go up to here is gmt plus 12 hours on the east side right similarly on the west side we have 22 and a half degrees west and then we have 37 and a half degrees west um, so as you keep going west you will subtract one hour from the gmt and then if you go between 22 and a half degrees then you subtract two hours from the gmt two hours from gmt minus one hour from gmt so all these countries lying between seven and a half degrees west to twenty two and a half degrees west will be behind GMT by uh, one hour. So you will subtract one hour from the GMT time. Uh, and again, as you keep going west, this is what you keep doing. And again, over here as well, the maximum you can go up to is GMT minus twelve hours. After which, the, of course, there's a shift in the time zone, and uh, what we call is the international date line when we skip days or we uh, advance days. Uh, so that's going um, more into the depth. Uh, I will not go so much into the depth. So this is basically the uh, the concept that we'll be using today. And so when we say longitude in time, uh, we mean the time that a ship would have maintained if it was on a particular longitude. Now, ideally, uh, if a ship would have been here um, on the seven and a half degree longitude or on a twenty-two and a half degree longitude or any longitude that lied between these, uh, you divide it by fifteen, and that's the time you would keep. 
uh, but uh, this is not what happens because for all practicality uh, for for trade to take place for business to take place uh, we need normally countries maintain a round hour uh, except for some countries like india that maintains about five and a half hours ahead of gmt but mostly um, every country has to maintain a round hour they cannot go as per the longitude otherwise all countries would have uh, different times so uh, countries lying between a zone uh, maintain the same time as i've shown so the, the, the this here this area here becomes a zone then right every every 15 degrees longitude becomes a zone so ships may have to maintain that zone time for all practicality but longitude in time would have been uh, conceptually the time uh, that a ship on uh, would have to maintain uh, on each and every longitude but that's not practical it's not a it's not a practical thing to do because every longitude uh, cannot have a different time otherwise it will be become very complicated for practicality as the ship transits from one longitude to the other right so because of that uh, we have the concept of zone and GMT of course is the reference time so this is the concept that we'll be using today for all the questions so sorry that I deviated a little bit uh, from the examples but I thought I should explain the, the the theory behind it before we start solving the questions right so let's go back to the questions here and the first question is a vessel is in longitude 134 degrees 30 minutes east and uh, what would be the local mean time if the GMT is 1200 hours now uh, we know what longitude is right we know what longitude is uh, there are 180 degrees longitude on either side of the Greenwich Meridian uh, and I've told you before that if a ship was to maintain the exact time uh, on, on a longitude um, uh, that would become longitude divided by 15 that would be 8 hours 58 minutes uh, uh, 8 hours and 58 minutes uh, right and uh, uh, so 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 the the 8 hours and 58 minutes would be based on the longitude uh, correction so if you need to know the longitude mean time you will need to know the time uh, in reference to the greenwich meridian so since uh, we are in the east longitude and i've shown you before that as we go easterly we add hours to it uh, so the local mean time would be 12 uh, because it's the gmt is the reference time and longitude in time gives us how much correction to apply if we were on a particular longitude and this is the local mean time a time that would ideally be on the ship's clocks uh, if there were no zones but uh, so this is called the local mean time but this is not the zone time uh, so this is not the time that a ship normally keeps uh, uh, on the ship's clocks because as you would see in the next examples you have to maintain the zone time and for that you have to apply the zone and not the longitude in time so longitude in time would be uh, in an ideal world the time uh, if we apply it as per the longitude we have to then we have to keep on applying this correction as the ship transits from one longitude to the other so at the risk of repeating myself uh, remember that longitude in time is a concept it is not practically followed because of uh, well lack of practicality we cannot keep on applying this correction to get the longitude mean time uh, because uh, uh, this is not practical uh, so the ship has to maintain a zone time uh, uh, as it transits between zones of 15 degrees longitude after seven and a half degrees right so let's take the second example here and you will see that uh, here the gmt is 1900 hours the longitude is 134 degrees west this time uh, and you have to find the zone time now again uh, longitude we all know what longitude is it's 134 degrees west we are in the west side now and that means we will be behind gmt gmt will be ahead of us because as we go west like i've shown you before we keep on reducing um, hours right so to convert uh, longitude into lit all i have to do is basically divide longitude uh, by 15 and this should give you 8 hours and 56 minutes now this is the correction that you would have to apply ideally to the in a perfect world to the gmt time to get lmt right but like i said this is not the practical time that we use on the ship's clocks right so what we use is the zone time so from lit you can actually get the zone so once you get the lit uh, it's an indication of what zone you are in based on your longitude so since the lit here is 8 hours and 56 minutes uh, it's more than 8 hours and 30 minutes so you definitely go into the zone of uh, minus 9 hours why minus because you are in the west longitude if you were in the east longitude you would be plus 9 hours in this case but you are in the west longitude so you're in minus 9 hours uh, if it was 8 hours and 28 minutes or 29 minutes uh, you would be in minus 8 hours zone of 
uh, the zone time right so remember that the longitude in time or the lit gives you an indication of the zone and if you look at the minutes if it's more than 30 minutes you round it off to the next hour if it's less than 30 minutes you keep it to the uh, the original hour all right like the example i've shown you so once you get the zone because you're in the west zone you will subtract hours from the gmt because gmt is ahead of the uh, zone west zone uh, the, all the longitudes and that's how you get 10 hours as the zone time once you subtract 9 from 19 right let's take the final example here where a vessel is in longitude 1 1 10 degrees 15 minutes east you are in east longitude so the vessel will be ahead of gmt so the, uh, you will be adding hours as you go to the east side right uh, and uh, what we have to do is find the gmt if the lmt is 10 hundred hours right so the lmt is given to us as 10 hundred hours and um, lit we can find by dividing the longitude by 15 and in this case it's a pretty straightforward question so because lit east uh, gmt will be least so gmt will be behind the local mean time right and that's the answer here so na naturally uh, local mean time you subtract the longitude in time to get the gmt all right so remember that uh, as we go east from long uh, the gmt you add hours as you go west from gmt you subtract hours uh, lit is a correction that you apply to the gmt to get the lmt but lmt will keep on changing with different longitudes remember that uh, so you cannot have lmt for practicality um, LMT would be the time in an ideal world, in a perfect world, but it's not like that. For all practicality, you have to maintain what you know is the zone time uh, and which depends on the zone of the area and the zone uh, is indicated by the LIT. All right. So uh, as we have done in the previous example. So I hope this concept is clear to you. Uh, if it's not, then go through this video again. I'm happy to receive any questions in the comments. Uh, so thanks, guys. Uh, catch you in another video.